My name is Owen Sheehan and this is the story of John Delaney. So John Delaney is one of the more recognisable faces in Irish sports administration, rising from the ranks of within Waterford United to the role of Treasurer of the Football Association of Ireland in 2001. Then 2002 comes along. Roy Keane is sent home from the World Cup and John Delaney hosts a massive press conference at home in front of the world's media as all hell is breaking loose in Saipan. He's seen as a steady hand in sports administration and this is when the Irish public starts to sit up and take notice of John Delaney. So at this time, Fran Rooney is the chief executive of the FAI and after his departure, John Delaney takes over, becoming the full-time CEO in 2005, a role he holds all the way up until last month. And during that almost 14 years in power, he's had many ups and he's had many downs. One of the ups or downs, depending on your outlook, would have been the relationship with Seth Blatter in 2010. He asked for Ireland to become Team 33 in that World Cup after the Thierry Henry handball. Seth Blatter laughed at him, but then subsequently paid him 5 million euro. So was that a positive or a negative? Well, that's up for you to decide. He's openly admitted that his Vantage Club ticket scheme in 2008 wasn't the best idea, but he has negotiated successfully deals with Giovanni Trapattoni and mending his relationship with Roy Keane to put him in as assistant to Martin O'Neill. His relationship with the grassroots of Irish football is an interesting one. He described in 2014 the League of Ireland as a difficult child for the FAI, but at the same time, just last week, he had letters from the provincial councils supporting John Delaney. He was said to have visited over 2,000 clubs during his time as CEO, perhaps indicating how he's got so much support at that level. Now John Delaney is back in the news because last month the Sunday Times reported a €100,000 loan made by John Delaney to the association. John Tracy of Sport Ireland, meanwhile, in front of an Oireachtas committee, has says they are awaiting full clarity on the reasons behind that loan. The FAI have received over €50 million Euro in public funding over the last 10 years, while John Delaney himself says the stadium debt of the Aviva will be paid off next year. He appears before the Oireachtas Committee next week. So we expect clarity on that €100,000 bridging loan in the near future. As things stand, John Delaney is still the Executive Vice President, the new Executive Vice President of the FAI, and still holds position on the Executive of UEFA. So after two decades of walking the corridors of power in Irish football, is the end nigh for John Delaney or will he survive this latest setback? I'm sure all will be revealed in the next couple of weeks.